What we're going to do now is we're going to superimpose a cognitive task on the tug. So we're going to ask Bruce to do a cognitive task while he's running this um, same test. There are a variety of different ways to do this. We're going to start with a math task, and we're going to see how Bruce does with a, uh, a math task. In the clinic, when I'm really trying to get good data on this, sometimes um, I'll, if I have somebody with me, a, a PT tech or an aide, um, I'll have them jot down the, the answers that somebody's giving. So I'm going to have Bruce do serial subtractions. So we'll do that here. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a starting point, Bruce, and then I want, I want you to do some math as you're walking. From the starting point I give you, I want you to subtract three, and I want you to continue to subtract three as you're going. Okay, so you're going to do this test, but I want you to do this cognitive task while you're doing the, the walking task. Okay? Good? Three from where? I'm going to tell you where to start when, if you tell me you're ready. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have you do that subtraction, and I want you to start at 99. Go. 99, 96, 93, 90, 97, 94, 81, ooh, 79. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, so you heard some errors in his math. So there was some decompensation from the cognitive task as he went. His timed score was at 8.92 uh, seconds that time. And so we really saw when there was this divided attention or the demand of both the motor task and the cognitive task, we had some... Um, Decompensation in the cognitive task, you heard him go from the 90s and then stay in the 90s, I think when he intended to get into the 80s. And he had a little bit of slowing of his gait as he was, um, as we compare this to his previous scores. Mm -hmm.